what was it like for you last week watching the Vikings kind of move the ball well in the first half when you couldn't really get anything else? Uh, I would definitely say for me, like, frustrating. Um, I had a lot of emotions, really. Um, I started kind of pacing, really, at some point. Because, I mean, it's like, I know some of those things would have been prevented um, if I was out on the field. I feel like a lot of the game would have went totally different. Um, but, I mean, really just trying to see the bigger picture. Um, and I'll see I'll see them again. Um, so, I mean, really just focus on this week now and preparing what I best way I can for this week. How confident are you in this stuff? You pick up where you left off. Very confident. Um, I mean, I work hard. I do extra work outside of this building. Um, so, I mean, I feel like my film study, the extra time that I put in, I'm, I'm confident coming back for sure. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say being out has allowed me to learn anything different or see it from a different perspective. Um, I feel like if anything, you, you see less being on the sideline than actually in there. Um, so, I mean, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. How do you feel like some of those younger guys in the Ripley's in that right. secondary stepped up in your absence? Um, I feel like they did good. I feel like it's one of those things they had to get thrown in the fire. And I feel like we had, I feel like with the Texan game, they're a run-heavy team, um, weren't too, too challenged in the air. And same thing with the Giants, run-heavy team. And then having that real first challenge, I feel like having arguably going against the best receiver in the league. So, I mean, that's task. It's never, never easy for anybody. But then being their first time, I feel like they adjusted really well. And I feel like that's, that's a good characteristic to have in this league. Jalen, that's a pretty talented group of wide receivers at Washington. Yeah, where's right. the biggest danger? Yeah. I mean, the guy that they just put, paid a lot of money to, I feel like Ted McLaurin is the leader of that, that group. Um, he's definitely good at making explosive plays. Definitely a good, savvy route runner. So, I mean, I feel like he's definitely the leader. Um, top to bottom. You've been thinking about that? You know they want to push the ball. What are the challenges? Uh, I mean, really, I feel like it's just really being able to not panic when that ball's in the air. You know that ball's going to gonna go up, and uh, he does a really good job of floating that ball and dropping it in there. So, I mean, really just being under control, not panicking when you, when you see the ball in the air, tracking it, and then make a play on the ball. You talked about some of the young players, but what about right. Kendall? What do you see about him making that next step forward? Oh, no, he played a really good game. I feel like for him, this is some, oh, I'm sorry, something that he's been in before. And I feel like you're able to kind of see that poise from him um, making plays in the run game, pass game, and then he got the big interception as well. What tendencies do you see in Wentz? I still feel like he's a, he's a big play guy. I feel like sometimes that can be good and sometimes that can be a little risky. Um, you can see him kind of holding the ball, some, taking sacks or different things like that. So, I mean, he's definitely a big play guy. Um, and we got to really stay on top, limit those big plays. Um, keep the ball in his hand as long as possible. Is it safe to say that you'll have your, your chances against him too? Is it, who? Uh, against Wentz too. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, he, he's going to be who he is. And I fight, like I said, he's a, he's a big play guy. So, I mean, sometimes there's some high risk and high reward to that. Jalen Ropon said yesterday that he's, he's happy to have you back because he feels like people are still sleeping on you and kind of disrespecting you. Yes, sir. When you talk about looking at the longer picture, what is that longer picture for you? Oh, what is the longer picture? I mean, really, I feel like my whole thing this year is really – about dominating. Um, and I feel like for me, it's not just about dominating one game at the beginning of the season. I feel like I want to dominate through throughout this whole season. So coming back healthy, um, just being ready to go, I feel like it's just another step in that direction of dominating. You've been thrown out four times this year, is that right? Yeah, we can say that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who you're asking. <laughs> is there a, is it, hard, is it hard for you to push that out of your mind when you're on the field? I mean, do you sit there and go, I'll drive the ball's not coming this way? No, I don't even think like that. I think the ball coming in every, every play, honestly. Um, and I feel like my biggest thing this year is not thinking like that. I feel like there were some times last year where I gave us some easy plays. Um, really having that mindset, okay, dang, the ball not coming, and I give up some cheap. So, I mean, for me, just growing from that um, and thinking the ball's, the ball's coming every play and just wanting to be in the best position I can. Is he had a badge of honor? Huh? Is he had a badge of honor that they don't want to come to you? Uh, I mean, some people say that. I mean, for me, I, I like it, but I don't like it because, I mean, I want to make plays on the ball. Um, but, I mean, some people say it depends on, I feel like, the situation, if it's a true badge of honor or not.